Welcome back, everyone, to the Weekly Flare Podcast. If you're just joining us, welcome. Go back and listen to the other half after you listen to this half. If you followed through, thanks for coming back. We just would like to make a quick shout out real quick to everyone who's joined us on Meerkat and Periscope. We'd like to thank everyone for restreaming and for retweeting and liking, especially Living Chick, who both liked and restreamed it, and Jovette, who also liked and restreamed, and Deary9200, who just said go blue. So whatever that is, awesome. Thank you everyone also who's on Periscope. Um, I don't see what you're saying because I can't watch both at the same time. Just can't. Chris, you have a cell phone. I do. I have a cell phone. We were talking about cell phones earlier. I bet you most people watching or listening probably have a cell phone. Most likely not a flip phone. No. No. Probably not. Very unlikely. But Samsung has decided that they're going to make a flip phone that runs Android. Good. Now, not the first one. LG has one that they announced early this year. And I think Samsung actually announced one earlier this year that only sold in Korea. But they announced this one they're calling like SM something 2016, whatever. Um, I don't think it's been an official announcement. It was like a leak or something like that. But uh, it it's, looks like a flip phone. Okay. So like um, I had an LG flip phone that was like stainless steel. Uh-huh. And it looks kind of like that one, but it's a screen on the outside and then a screen on the inside. And it runs Android uh, 5.1, which is Lollipop. Okay. And What are we at now? Marshmallow? Marshmallow, which Marshmallow. is... Six, no, maybe five, it's 5.0 five, five, oh, Lollipop and 5.1 is Marshmallow. I don't remember the numbers. Maybe it runs Lollipop, whichever that one is. I think that's 5.0 five, five. Five, oh, was mm-hmm. Lollipop. I think you're right. Um, But yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um... I kind of wish they had announced this had come out this year, like before I bought my phone, because I would have really considered it. Because I kind of miss having a flip phone. You could like flip it open, you could text with T9 real fast. Um, I don't know. I just, I really liked my flip phones when I had all of them. And my first non flip phone that I got wasn't actually a smartphone, gotcha. it was just like a feature phone that was like a touch screen. And it worked pretty well. I really liked it. But um, I kind of miss having a flip phone sometimes, you know? It could like it sit in your pocket better. Yes. It like you could set it on your desk and like if you wanted to check something, you actually open it, so you can just like tap the screen and fiddle around with it while you're trying to get work done. Um. Yeah. I I kind of I kind of want to see what this does. And um, it says it has pretty like good specs compared to like phones that are out right now. It has like three gigs of RAM, a, a nice processor. It's got like sixty four gigs of memory. Um. It's I think they said the leak said it had like a 15 megapixel camera and like a five megapixel front facing one when you opened it. So it's got all the stuff that people, you know, want out of their phone. It's got 4T LE, it's got 4G LTE. So it's got all the stuff that you need in your phone, but it's a flip phone. Gotcha. And uh, I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of want to see what this does. Hopefully maybe this this next, you know, kind of takes off and they make another one when I'm ready to buy another phone that's upgraded to what the phones are at that time. I would really consider buying it. Gotcha. I really would. Yeah, I mean, I know that's kind of crazy, but um, I, my phone's kind of to that point where it's like too big. Yeah. Like I like it. I'm really happy with it. But um, whenever I pick up my phone that I last had, because we use it to st- stream with, yep. I'm like, man, this phone was a good size. And I thought that one was kind of big when I got it, because compared to the first gen Moto X, the second gen was bigger. And then this one, of course, is even bigger. Yep. I kind of miss having that smaller sized phone. So I think the flip phone might be pretty cool like that because it's small and you can flip it open and the screen's still small, but you have like buttons. I don't know. What was a good size phone? Uh, the Sidekick? Yeah, the Sidekick. Was, I really think the first gen Moto X is probably my favorite sized phone that okay. I had. Um, it, it was kind of small, but the Droid X was okay. The Razer Max was... I mean, those were both good sized phones. The Moto, the first gen Moto X just had that feeling though. It just it felt right. The second gen Moto X was a little bigger. The Moto X Pure that I have now, it's it's just, it's nice, but it's almost too big to like hold with one hand. Yeah. And that just kind of bothers me a little bit, you know? But, eh, what can you do? You know what you can do? What's that? You 
can go on Kickstarter right now and you can back a solar powered airplane. Really? Yeah, solar powered remote controlled airplane. No batteries on it, just a solar. Well, okay, they say there's no batteries. What they mean is there's no battery other than something to hold solar power. So don't worry, this thing can't just fly forever because that would kind of be crazy if like it got out of range and just kept on flying or something like that. Uh, what it does is it charges up for like 90 seconds and then it holds that charge and it's not battery because it's not really a battery, but whatever. And then you can fly it for like, the propeller will spin for about 15 seconds and then you can like glide it around yeah. and then land it and do it over again. Um, so not, not a huge amount of time that you can spend like really flying it per se, but it's a pretty cool kit. Um, the wings and stuff, it's all designed so that like if you crash it, it should just like break apart and not actually break. Gotcha. Um, the marketing is like for like a kid's like science project kind of thing to like learn about flying and solar power. and. Uh, but I thought it was really cool just because you know how much I love solar power. Yes. Specifically like not like solar type powers like wind energy, but like actual solar from the sun power. Because uh, I just think it's really cool. Not because I think the technology is anywhere near like ready for everything to switch over to it. But I think it's a really cool technology that I've been watching since um, I first heard about it. And it's definitely getting better every day. And stuff like this just shows how you know cool things you can do with it. You have this little airplane, charge up for 90 seconds, fly it up, glide it around, land it, charge it for 90 seconds. You know, it's uh, not the longest flight time, but it's a cool little project. And it's on Kickstarter. You can go back it. Um, I don't remember how much money they were asking for, but um, I imagine it'll get back. It's a pretty good idea. Will you be getting one? No. I, you know, I really, I, I think it's a cool idea. I don't fly uh, remote-controlled airplanes, so I'll probably pass on that gotcha. for now. But it, it's really cool. You should get one, Chris, and then no. I can fly it and crash it. I don't have time. I should buy it for my buddy that flies remote-controlled airplanes and give it to him, and he can fly it. Like he's really good. He like has a sweet like controller that has like a bunch of like buttons and nice. stuff and like has all like the little things you can do to adjust it while it's flying. Yeah, he's pretty into it. Which helped out in school because when we were building an airplane he was a ton of help. So Good. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, you know, maybe you're not into like, you know, technology but you have that iPhone anyways. You know, some people, you know, they have their iPhone because everyone has an iPhone but they're not like crazy about technology and they're like, you know, I always had this iPhone with me. <laughs> I can't take very good notes with it because by the time you open the notepad, you like forgot what you're going to write down. Well, good news. There's an accessory you can get for your iPhone that's a sticky pad. It's basically a sticky pad that sticks to the back of the iPhone. It's like $8. And uh, you can just flip your phone over, pull out your pen, jot down your notes, and pull out the sticky note. And there you go. Give it to someone or if you need to give someone a note or... You know, you need to leave a note on someone's car because, like, you know, you, you know whose car it is and you want to mess with them. Or because, you, you know, I don't know, you found, like, a dollar sitting under their car and you want to give it back to them. So you, like, roll it up, stick it with them with a the note. I don't know what you're going to do with it. I also don't know how you're going to carry that thing in your pocket and not destroy all the paper. Yeah. Because it's just sitting there on the back of the phone. Guaranteed. iPhone 7. Mm-hmm. Will have a stylus. How much you want to bet? Um, because the Galaxy I, Note S five that's out. The no, Galaxy S6 five. Note is five out right now. The Note has the, always the Note had five. a stylus. It has a stylus. The yeah. Notes have always had a stylus. Yes, so exactly. All five of them. You can write anything you want. There's to. not five Notes, have there? Yes. Really? We sell. We sell all, five. All of them have had a stylus, though, haven't they? Yes, I believe so. I don't think the iPhone's gonna have a stylus. You don't think so? No. Okay. I don't. I do not think that they will have a Apple Pencil. I'm just thinking that way because... The iPad with, doesn't have a stylus because it's a pencil. With the sizes of them getting... The phones getting no. bigger, I believe they should you probably will not soon. see a stylus on the iPhone 7. You heard it here, not first, because no one else probably thought that but you. Probably. No, I'm sure there's actually a lot of people who thought that. But a lot of people thought that the iPads would have had a stylus at like iPad 2. Um, Steve Jobs did not like styluses. So he probably rolled over and is great about the probably Apple, with the pencil, the pencil, pen, whatever they call in that stylus. Thing. Am I correct when I say this? I don't know. Uh, that Apple stated that the 
the new iPad that came out. The iPad Pro? Yes. Okay. Was supposed to be a replacement for a desk, desktop. Mm, no, that's not really what they said. Okay. My friend texted me that and told me that. That's not really what they said, no. They said it could do all the same things as a, as desktop. a desktop, not that as a replacement. Gotcha. A it's different. Well, you heard it here. Correction. Being, a repl- being marketed as a replacement is different than being able to do all the same types of things. Like my phone can do all the things a tablet can do, but it's not really a tablet replacement per se. Gotcha. My phone can do most of the things my laptop can do, but it's definitely not a laptop replacement. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could hook up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to it. Even. Oh, yeah. You or did a USB yes. one, even, if I wanted to. You did that the other day. Yeah. And uh, I could open up whatever and type, and, you know, I could do Photoshop on it, like with the one of the little photo apps, mm-hmm. but uh, it's not a replacement by any means. And I don't think that Apple was trying to market it that way. Uh, I may have missed that because I was probably at work when I was listening to the announcement at the same time. But um, I don't think they marketed it as a replacement so much as an extension probably is more what they were probably going for because they make a they do a good job with the iMac. Speaking of which, Rachel bought an iMac. Did I tell you that? No. Yeah, she bought an iMac a couple weeks ago. Good. It's pretty cool. Good. I would not buy one for me personally. But that's not the point. Have you have the you thought point about, is it's pretty cool. Have you thought about getting a uh, they sell that projector slash Hotspot. What? We sell it, one of them. It's projector slash hotspot. Chris, I'm not buying any of your Sprint toys. I'm just saying it's kind of cool. I don't need a hotspot. Okay. Nor do I need a projector that's in my pocket. I think projector is kind of cool. I think projectors are really cool, but I don't need one as a hotspot. If I got a projector, I'd get one for my house and just shoot it on the if, wall. If you were it was a, like a hundred inches, and I could play Halo on it. If you were a businessman, you probably would consider it. You know, if you're if you're going to houses and houses, or you know, if I was traveling, like your dad, my dad would not consider that. I got you, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, Chris. You sound like a salesman now. It's creeping me out. Good. So, Chris, I guess that means you started your job now at Sprint. Yes, that's cool. How's that going? Good. 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 Come see me for all your Sprint needs. So basically, no one. Yeah. I'm sorry. I I actually have nothing against Sprint. I just we own Boost and yeah yeah. You don't Virgin own Mobile. Boost. Boost just uses your network. It's different. Yeah, we can transfer people accounts real quick though. Yeah, well, it's the same network. Exactly. I'd be like, uh, I don't know. I got no good examples of that, but whatever. AT and T, North State. Yeah, no, they're not the same. North State's an authorized retailer for... Oh, for AT&T service. AT&T. Yeah, but that's different than actually being able to transfer. Like, True. Yeah, who would be actually? Yeah, there's no good examples of that. There's really none. But that's okay. We don't need any good examples because they don't matter. You know what does matter, Chris? What's that? Um, video games. You're right. We already talked about Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah. Though. But what we didn't talk about, also on PlayStation came out this week, Super Star Wars from the Super Nintendo. Okay. Did you play Super Star Wars on the Super Nintendo? I did not. Well, that game was okay. But it's been re-released. You can buy it on your PS4 or your PlayStation Vita. Oh, it's $10. Buy online. $10. It's not too bad. No, it's not bad. Um, I was really close to buying it the other day, and then I thought, mm, I'm going to wait and see if it goes on sale. Mm. If it goes on sale... I will probably buy it and play it on my PlayStation Vita because I think that'd be perfect for it. Yes. Also, everyone, you should go buy a PlayStation Vita because they're pretty cool. You can do all sorts of cool stuff like uh, play games, which you could do on your phone, but your phone doesn't have buttons and joysticks. That's about right. Yeah. That's all I want to say. Super Star Wars. What do you got going on this week, Chris? Nothing. Nothing. Just work. Probably going to hang out with some friends, finish some homework. Still doing that school thing, huh? Yep. That's good. Getting ready for Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving is next week, isn't it? Are we doing the cinnamon challenge next week? Next week. Yes. Oh, but it'll be separate from the episode, though. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're doing it next week. All right. So be ready for that. Are we planning anything for our one year? Not yet, but we should. Okay. We have a couple months still. That's right. It was like the middle of January, beginning of January, middle well, of January. we're at 44, 45, 46, 47. I yeah, know it two was months. Like sometime in January. Yeah, two months. So. 
We'll do something just so we listening up for that. So, Chris, say these people of the internet wanted to find you. Where would they look? You can find me on Twitter, of course. At Never Lose Heart. At Never Lose Heart. That's about it. That's about it. If you want to find me, go to Twitter, at James Walter. I'm there, and I'm always there. And I never leave Twitter. I just sometimes turn it off. But I never leave. If you want to find The Weekly Flare, just go to theweeklyflare.com. You can find everything there. You can find our YouTube, our Twitter, our Facebook, our Instagram, which mostly consists of me posting Amiibo pictures and pizza pictures. So if you like Amiibo and pizza, you should check that out. If you don't like either of those things, well, every now and then I post stuff that's actually interesting. Good. Um, If you watch us on YouTube, I'm sorry there was no episode last week. We had a slight problem with the camera. And so we had half the show, and that half of the show was also just not quite cooperating. So I've been messing with the camera, and hopefully everything is working correctly. All the tests I did beforehand all worked smooth, so we should be good to go. Um, So yeah, give us some feedback, and let us know what you think of the show. Otherwise, we'll see you guys again in seven days. Peace.